Hello, hello. Today is a very exciting day. For one, I am back in Chongchun with this guy here. Hello. Here I am. And uh, the second thing is we are actually going skiing today. We're catching the tail end of the ski season here in Chongchun. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much going to be my first ever time skiing ever. I've only been once before in Beijing and it was on fake snow. It was like, it was such a weird vibe because there was no snow anywhere except for this one little slope. After going up and down the hill a few times, I found the whole thing to be a bit boring and I haven't been skiing again since. 15 well, years ago was the last time I was on skiers. I'm excited, but I'm, I'm also a little bit nervous, I have to say. I'm just hoping I don't get an injury today and I'll be happy. We also have a friend in the back here. We have Chris, hello. Hi, hi. Have you been skiing before? Yes, like four or five times in my life. But okay. last time was two years ago. Okay, well, we're, we're a car full of newbies. Yeah. And we're going with a big group of uh, Derek's workmates from Audi. And uh, yeah, this should be an interesting day. Follow along for this uh, little skiing experience. And hopefully no injuries. Oh my gosh, yeah, I'm going to go so slow. I'm generally, well, actually not even generally, I am 100% a very risk averse person, so. I would say 1,000%. 1,000%, so yeah, I'm going to be going like a turtle pace today. Talking about turtles, we have a turtle in the back. A lot of turtles here. What, wait, 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 what, what the F? What is that? A whole turtle family over here. What, what are they for? <laughs> for your butt. So if you're falling down, you fall, fell down on the, on the turtle. Wow, this is going to be an absolute look. So the ski field we're going to today is nice and close, just an hour drive from Chongchun. Well, theoretically just one hour. We missed the turn off for the expressway and found ourselves on the scenic route. It's what you get when you follow Apple Maps in China. <laughs> That's taking us in such a weird place. Eventually, we arrived at the turn off for Miao Xiangshan Ski Resort. We can see the ski lift. They look quite steep. I hope they're a beginner slopes. There should be three slopes. Yeah, exactly. I've since learned this ski field is on the smaller side, but it's still a popular spot thanks to its proximity to the city. Holy moly. I'm that. I'm that looks the right one. That looks so scary. Look how steep it is. Okay, we have just arrived at the ski resort and check this out. It's already looking a lot more impressive than the last ski resort I went to. Although I'm pretty sure this is still mostly fake snow. I got my drone up and it seems the surrounding mountains are bare. Also, I found a stash of their snow machines proving my hypothesis. Anyway, I'm not going to know the difference. Let's get this snow on the road. Haha, <laughs> see what I did there? First step is buying tickets and renting equipment. So because it's a weekend today, the ticket prices are a bit higher. So for us, we're skiing on like the easier slopes. It's costing us 350 renminbi for a ticket. If you want to go on the harder slopes, I think there's one or two harder slopes here. Those slopes uh, for the ticket price is 380. Whether you're like me and have zero ski equipment, or maybe you're just missing a few items here or there, you can rent anything you need here. I mean, it's nothing fancy. Dalk literally had a hole in his butt, but it did the job. Where do I put this turtle? Oh, sorry. How does <laughs> 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 Oh my god, I'm oh. gonna look so funny. Oh. <laughs> Do I need these too? Where do these go? Please, oh, I don't need these. You will be the shiniest. Do people wear these? Am I gonna yeah, of course, people will see a lot. Oh, you see people? Yeah. Okay, okay. Not just me. <laughs> I honestly thought this was a practical joke the entire time. I was ready for someone to jump out and say, ha ha, you've been punked. But it turns out this is indeed quite a thing and safety is no joke, children. Perfect. Yeah? You're protected everywhere. I'm protected everywhere. Do you need a he just knows he can't pull it off like I can. We are officially ready to hit the slopes. You look significantly cooler than I do. And today I'm, I'm sponsored by Skoda. <laughs> I'm riding for Skoda today. I am riding for Turtle. I am on the snow, officially. It was at that moment I saw a fellow Turtle wearer and felt this oddest sense of pride and belonging to this exclusive club. Actually, not so exclusive. A lot of people are wearing these Turtles, it turns out. Anyway, got me some skis. Now I'm officially ready to hit the slopes. I have to say, man, skiing is exhausting. And I haven't even gotten on the slopes yet. Do you have any tips for me? Just like this. Okay. Yeah, just like this. As the only piece of advice I received, I held to it like glue, as you can probably tell. Needless to say, that first trip down the slope was a slow one. What am I meant to know for sticks? What are they for? Accelerate or stop. Accelerators. 
oh girl, don't kid yourself. So I'm definitely finding my feet on the skis, which I'm very happy about. Um, hopefully I'm not looking too awkward, but I guess we will see the footage later. Um, the scariest part of the whole experience is actually this little ski elevator here. You get on these to get you to the top of those flatter beginner slopes. Getting on it and getting off it is absolutely terrifying and I haven't quite gotten the hang of it yet. It's also quite slow, it takes ages to get to the very top, but there is an alternative if you're up to it, which is going up the ski lift, but that takes you to a blue run, which is still a tad above my level, I'd say. I'm sitting on the lift, on my way up. After 15 years, Dark seems to have taken to skiing like a fish to water. Well, mostly. Anyway, after a few more trips up and down the mountain, I had gained some level of confidence. Check this out, I even learned how to turn 2026 Winter Olympics, here I come. So now that I'm feeling a bit more confident on the skis, I'm ready for my close-up. And my friend Christian here, he has a GoPro that you can put in your mouth. Oh. Show him how it's done. Like that. Yeah. Look at that. Okay, you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Let's go. Okay, Christian mouth cam. Shot one. <laughs> Great work, high five. Thank you so much. So I just saw the footage from Christian and I thought I was going a lot faster and I looked a lot cooler in my head, but I see the footage and I'm like an actual turtle. It's hilarious. You have done great. It was awesome. Very Thank good. You. Well, in any case, I feel like I've definitely deserved this steaming bowl of noodles. Honestly, cannot think of anything I would more rather eat right now than this steaming hot bowl of noodles. I'm really loving these noodles, by the way. They're really, really thin and like glassy as well. And this broth is so good. I've added some chili, I've added some vinegar, and it's just warm and comforting. What's the name of this noodle? It's called cold, cold noodle, but it's in hot soup. Wow, it's <laughs> quite confusing. confusing. After some more hot cold noodles and some shao kao, we were fueled up for another few hours on the slopes. Only rule is we had to finish up by 4 p.m. So it seems there are two shifts, like a day shift and a night shift, and the day shift ends at 4 p.m. So there's actually no one left on the slopes and I think it's going to open in a bit for the night shift where people can like ski in the night. I guess they turn on the lights or something. And since this is a skiing themed video, I thought I'd also share the trip we took two weekends later to another ski resort here in Jilin province. Hello from two weeks in the future. We decided to come back skiing and this time we've come to a different resort that's actually a bit further away. So we've put in a bit more time and effort to get here. So it's three hours from Changchun. We're in a place called Tonghua Ski Resort and definitely driving a bit further is worth it because this place is so much bigger. There are runs everywhere. I'm actually about to do the beginner run which goes for ages and ages and ages and the best part of the whole thing, well two good things. First good thing is there's no magic carpet, you just come up in the ski lift. This was a major plus for me. So comfy and you get such nice views over the resort. Then the second thing, today I'm turtleless as you can see. I've graduated. My butt is there. But at this resort, it's not just turtles. There's a whole variety, a whole Noah's Ark of animals here on people's butts and knees. So I've seen polar bears. I've seen panda bears. I even saw an avocado. Needless to say, the fashion at Tonghua Ski Resort is on point. Anyway, back to two weekends ago, we finish up skiing for the day. We are now heading back to Changchun. This time we made sure we got on the expressway though. Now we're heading to a group dinner with our skiing buddies and I just hope we're eating something something warm. Absolutely perfect. Tonight we are eating Chaoshan beef hot pot. Keen to see how this dish that originates from the very opposite end of this country tastes here in Tongchun. First impressions, it's pretty good. You got lots of variety of beef cuts here and even the famous Chaoshan beef balls. So one big question I had was will there be a sauce bar with the satay sauce because Chaoshan beef hot pot it's all about the satay sauce. And this actually has a really, really wide range of sauces, including, of course, the satay sauce. They've even provided one of these Chaoshan style cooking baskets for your meat. So far, a very authentic Chaoshan beef hot pot experience here in Chaoshan. You are Chaoshan, right? I'm As for the taste of the beef itself, it melts in your mouth, it does. It's really good. I'm keen to see what Dirk thinks of it. So make sure you dip it in a sauce. Oh, you, you. I have two, yeah. Oh my gosh, you have chili oil and you have chili. chili. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. You're so intense. Mm. What do you think? Yeah, safe to say we polished that off. 
but the night is not over. We're kicking on at this incredible venue. And honestly, I had no idea Chongchun was so cool. The cherry on top of this amazing day. We have just arrived at potentially the coolest bar I've ever seen. It looks like a little castle here. There are little fairy lights everywhere. Of course, no bar is complete without a few Christmas trees lining the driveway. Wow. I'm seeing a side to Chongchun today that I have to say I'm really liking. How cool is this? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Whoa, okay. We had the black and white movies playing, an indoor food cart, live band, very nice vibe indeed. If anyone is planning to come to Chongchun and you want to go on a nice date somewhere, you want to impress someone, come here. We had a lovely time, had a few drinks. And since here in China there is a very strict 0.0, .0 blood alcohol content rule when you're driving, um, there's no way that Dale can drive home. But here in China, because this is like the place for convenience, there's actually an app that I've only just learned about tonight where you can actually order a driver to meet you at your car and they drive your car home with you in it. So kind of like a like an Uber service, but the driver comes to you with like a little with like a little scooter or something. Very interesting. Uh, here are some here now. Okay, so check this out. These two guys here. They've come on their little bikes. Another one over here. So quite a few of us are using this service. And then basically they drive you home. In your car. Bye! So these scooters they ride are ultra foldable so that they can fit in your car boot. And once they drop you off at your home, they'll then scoot off to their next pickup location. Okay, so we're back in the car. This guy is uh, driving it. My mind is blown. It's very convenient. But I can't believe you know this only after 10 years in China. Well, I don't really go out that much. <laughs> no, but it's like a common concept here. Really? Yeah, it is. I don't know. Let me know, guys. Am I the only one that doesn't know about this whole concept existing here in China? Is this a new concept? Please shed some light in the comments below. By the way, it's also not that expensive. I don't think it's it's gonna cost that much more than getting a taxi. It was a 30 minute drive back to our place and cost around 50 RMB. That's like seven US dollars. Pretty good, I have to say. Anyway, we are going to enjoy our lift home here. Um, courtesy of this guy. I have to admit, it does feel slightly strange to have our car driven by someone we don't know, but he's very kind and very nice. We are very much enjoying his company. And uh, yeah, that'll be it for from us, from our skiing adventure. Thank you for joining and I will see you next week. Bye from Dalek and I, bye. Bye. Uh. Ha <laughs> ha.